We use coins. Dot com. Councilor Pignatelli? Yes. I've got a question for you. Sure. Have you ever voted to, I hope you're doing, oh yeah, okay. Have you ever um, voted to not pardon a person who was only, you know, convicted of a victimless crime? Um. I don't understand the question. Have, oh, okay. Have I ever voted to not pardon someone? Right, you've voted on a few pardons, I assume. Uh... Not really, because um, when I was um, working under the under the administration of Governor Lynch, we had very few pardon hearings. So, oh, I and see. So we never granted a pardon. Okay. So there's uh, there's just very few pardon. Why is it that so few pardon requests are coming before you? Is it a bureaucratic problem or red tape? Actually, we had pardon requests under. Governor Lynch, but we never had pardon hearings. We all decided that we didn't want to have a pardon hearing for each individual that came before us. So you were just denying them without even hearing them? Right, yes. yes. Was it because the crimes were extremely violent or something? Um, we couldn't see ourselves based on the knowledge that we had granting a pardon. I can't remember whether any of them were victimless crimes. What are you describing? Are you describing yeah. burglary as a uh, No, crime? no, absolutely not. I mean, okay. it would have to be, there's no one harmed, no one threatened. Like maybe a drug? Yeah, um, a drug thing would be the ideal example, but there are many others. Um, yeah. But uh, I would hope that if you'd voted to, to keep someone in jail or something like that over a marijuana thing, you would remember that, but... Uh, oh, no, no, and as a matter of fact, we don't get to say whether somebody remains in jail. It's just after the fact. Right, yeah. right. It's usually after the fact. Right. I so remember the Ward Berg situation is the only one that, oh, it's, it's Dave Ridley, RidleyReport.com. Oh, okay. We've met. It's been a long time. I know. You um, look a little familiar yeah. <laughs> when you were re recording in there. I thought, geez, I know that person, but I'm not sure how. I figured I'd recognize you too. But yeah. yeah, we met a long time ago. I was wearing like a Benson sign or something like that back at, a, at an event, and you walked past me and you had a nice conversation with me despite the Benson sign, so that was nice. Sure. But you were well, my executive counselor for a while. Where do you live? I'm in Bedford now, but oh, yeah. Okay. Well, I'll be in Bedford tonight at a public hearing if you'd like to attend. It's Not a another... Gasset hearing. Gasset? A Governor's Advisory Commission on Intermodal Transportation. I've never gotten a, an, an invitation from a politician oh, no, before. Probably, <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, but you know, since I'm in Bedford and you're yeah. in Bedford, um, Thanks. it's... Yeah, I think I'll look I'll look that up, but I, okay. I didn't see it on any of my calendars, so I may just have to check the state's website. Okay, yeah, it is check the, the Department website. of Transportation. Okay, it it's the same executive that. council also? Yeah, we're all members of the Gasset Committee. Okay. Plus, I think the head of the Department of Transportation is also a member. All right, awesome. Are you in favor of this? Then why do you use this? Instead, maybe you should use... This. Spending a government's currency does more than anything else to prop up that government. Please starve the monster by using other currencies when you can. The most exciting of these is Bitcoin, the currency of peace. Inflation resistant, it's the easiest money to send and receive over the web. Get started at WeUseCoins.com.